Hello, my name is Raghu Das and I'm the CEO of ID Tech X. I want to tell you just over the next few minutes about the ID Tech X show. The aim of this event is to connect the most exciting emerging technologies with global brands. ID Tech X is a market research company. We've been tracking emerging technologies for many years. And of course, we've found there's always an element of technology push with new technologies. What we try and achieve at the United Tech X show is to match these technologies with real needs in the marketplace. And to that extent, we have a range of fantastic attendees and speakers who will be telling you about their real problems and challenges that these technologies can address. The event is being held in Berlin on 10th and 11th of May at the SRL Convention Center. So let's have a look at who's going to open the session, the cornerstones we have. We have ARM, the leading provider of circuit design, which is used by more than 5.5 billion people around the world. And they'll be talking about their progression beyond smartphones into devices like IoT, automotive, wearable, and servers. From the healthcare side, we have the company Galvani Bioelectronics, who are a joint venture between GlaxoSmithKline and Google's owner Alphabet. Those two companies alone have revenues of over $100 billion a year. Galvani attacking the problem of healthcare, the aging demographic, people living much longer, and therefore we need new technologies and this merging between bio life sciences and also electronics to keep people in their home for longer and address many other things. Galvani will be talking about their development plan to address those, um, being one of the best funded startups with $675 million of funding from their owners. Then we have the world's largest automaker, Toyota, with revenues of over $200 billion a year. Toyota are going to be covering how the whole mobility as we know it today is changing to electric vehicles and even then ultimately energy independent vehicles. They'll be looking at how things like structural electronics and flexible electronics are making an impact in the short term thanks to lighter weight and new features and user interfaces, right through to power chains and the innovations around energy storage, energy harvester. Then we have wearable technologies. Companies like VF will be presenting, and they own brands including Timberland, Wrangler, Nautica, and many more, being a company with sales over $12 billion. And they'll be looking at how they're seeking to exploit wearable technology. Now that we've reached the hype in that sector, they're looking at going beyond the usual gadgets that you strap to your wrist to looking at other paradigms like e-textiles, AR, VR, and more than that going beyond. So have a look at their insights as to what's going on with wearable. And these are just four of the entire number of speakers. We have over 245 speakers from around the world from some of the world's largest organizations with the aim that they'll be sharing their needs and experiences with these different technologies. We also have many companies presenting, talking about some of the new activities they're doing and the latest new developments, many of which will be announced at this event for the very first time. Beyond the speaker program, we have a fantastic exhibition where you can really get to see and interact with these technologies. We have over 200 exhibitors, that's up 20% over last year. And these exhibitors come across the whole supply chain from material providers showing you new functional or enabling materials which will enable new devices through to companies making the manufacturing equipment through to those making new devices, whether it's sensors, energy storage, displays or other, all the way through to those then integrating it into complete products such as IoT systems, wearable systems or in vehicles. Taking a look at the trade show floor plan, which is now completely sold out as of the end of April, there's a lot going on. An example of some of the highlights include Demonstration Street. This is a collection of samples that we've collected as we go around the world, being analysts at AliTechX. And here you can interact with these different samples and prototypes and really see them, whereas opposed to just hearing about it or reading about it previously. We also have live manufacturing on the trade show floor at Manufacturing Street where you can see much machinery in action and you can go and ask the experts on hand as to their insights and understand the pros and cons of these different processes and what is coming next. 
Much more than that, we have other initiatives, and one of them includes the ITECX Launchpad. This is something we set up because we're so excited by some of the new technologies coming through from universities that we wanted to highlight very early stage companies with very impressive technology. So these are the winners of the Launchpad initiative. They'll all be at the event, and they'll all be showing a working product or prototype, many of them showing it for the first time, ranging from new materials to sensors to even vehicles themselves. So take a look at what they're showing because some of these will be the next uh, billion dollar companies of the future, we think. There's much more to experience as well. For example, Tesla will be there and they'll have their vehicles there and some of you will be able to have a, a test drive on their vehicle. In addition to that, you'll be seeing what's coming next beyond electric vehicles, including energy independent vehicles, such as the solar car shown here. We also have many other big demonstrators, such as the solar V-Tree and the Parallel Zone. We have some of the world's leading makers bring in their smart textiles, and you can see these different options at hand and see how they feel and, and how well they work. We have an awards ceremony, we have academic posters, and we have a huge level of networking all of it is aimed to keep educating you, keep showing you the insights, and allowing you to uh, network and have opportunity after this event going forward. Let's take a look at the attendee profile. We're expecting over 3,000 attendees coming from across the value chain, and many of them are at a very senior level, as you can see here. We have scientists, we have directors, but the biggest category of companies we have coming along are technology scouts, innovation managers and product managers who are looking for new technologies and looking at how they can differentiate their products versus their competition. So far, attendee numbers are up over 12% versus the same time this versus last year, and we have a truly global event with attendees coming from over 60 countries around the world. Don't just take our word for it. Here are some of the quotes from previous attendees. One thing we've tried exceptionally hard to do at this event is really provide that connection between technology and commercial industry and need. And therefore, the whole event is geared around bringing together end users and big brands and small brands and matching it up with all the technologies coming through and through our analysts, through the conference program, and through all the sessions we have, we try and really focus the, the different technologies to the best applications for them. And so companies can find us a really fertile space to engage, listen, understand the feedback, and also ultimately, of course, achieve business. So don't miss out. This event is only held in Europe once a year. Um, it's being held on May 10th and 11th in Berlin. Um, expect to take away a huge amount of insights, the progress of the latest emerging technologies, their outlook, and above all, a good understanding of your opportunity to make money in these sectors going forward. I hope to see you there.